Hello everyone, today I'll share with you my favorite dumbbells workout routine. We're basically gonna go through the full workout which consists of four exercises in total and each exercise is a combination of two simple compound exercises. The point of this functionality and complex exercise mixture is to improve functionality and movement, improve joint mobility and move in higher ranges of motion. It's definitely one of my favorite dumbbell workout routine for the full body, great for anyone who does any sort of resistance training, body weight training, but if you have equipment like dumbbells lying around, you can pick your weights and we can get started. So this full training is made up, it's structured in a way that we have three cycles, and each cycle is a combination of the same four exercises. So we do 15 reps of the first exercise, we rest for 40 seconds, then 15 reps of the second exercise until we get to the fourth. And then we have completed one full cycle. Then in between cycles we rest for a full minute and a half up to two minutes and then we repeat another cycle again. We go for a total of three cycles which leaves us to four exercise times three. The pauses between these sets of exercises are around 40 to 50 seconds while the pauses between the full cycles are around one and a half to two minutes long. The point of this workout is to burn calories, stabilize the core and increase muscular strength of the whole body. Because of the short rest periods, you might want to slouch when lactic acid builds up, but try to perform everything with a good form, working both on your cardio and muscular strength. Make sure you warm up properly, get your wrists, get your elbows, get your knees, get your ankles and hips moving, uh, do a little cardio in between, do a little mobility work, and let's pick up the dumbbells and go. So the first exercise is a combination of squat and overhead push with dumbbells. Uh, the reason I picked this as first is because it gets your body fired up, it improves circulation and it gets those hips moving. It increases hip mobility, it increases the range of motion, it fires up large muscle groups like the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, it also includes the uh, deltoid muscles as we push forward and incorporates the core. Pick up the weights, flex the arms, elbows up and squat down. Try to keep neutral spine, increase intra-abdominal pressure in the belly and squat down with your knees in direction of your feet. Then lift up and push the weights overhead, extending the neck fully. Repeat for 15 reps. Try to keep a neutral spine, activate your glute muscles, activate the core and push through your shoulders. Try to inhale while squatting down, still keeping a tight core and exhale on your way up when you push through the quads and lift dumbbells overhead. Heels are on the floor, push through the full fit and not just your toes. Now the second exercise is a combination of a floor bridge and a dumbbell press up. What we basically do is from floor bridge we fire up our glutes, we fire up the core and we hold the dumbbells uh, up to our chest and then we push forward. This will at the same time while activating your core and burning on your glutes, it will activate the chest muscle which means a large muscular group in your body is incorporated. This will make sure you gain functional strength, you gain stability and it will also make sure you burn more calories. Now for those that want to be challenged, you can pick up slightly bigger dumbbells and you can also do the floor bridge with one leg on the floor. Lie down on the floor, pick up the dumbbells and push through your heels, lift the hips up. From here, you're all set. Just push the dumbbells upwards and try to consciously contract your upper chest. Push through the hips, tighten your core and flex your glutes. Such combination of isometric or static and dynamic exercises should get you sweating in less than a minute. The third exercise we have on our list is the lateral raise combined with the front raise uh, with dumbbells. This is definitely a shoulder killer. As you go in the front pull, it will activate the anterior deltoid muscles. You can also have your thumbs up or have your hands inward like this. Then we go down and we push up uh, laterally on the side, which will target more the middle head of the shoulder. If you do this exercise in a controlled manner and slightly slower, it will burn on your shoulders. And if you feel like picking up slightly lighter weights, you can go on and do so. Stand up straight, feet are hips width apart, dumbbells in both hands. Tighten your core and lift up the waist laterally using your shoulders. Then get back and lift up again, bringing your hands in front of your head. Try to level out the hips so you do not move it laterally, bringing more weight onto one hip. 
Tighten your core and exhale while lifting the weights. Inhale while lowering the weights down. Try to keep a neutral spine and connect throughout the core. Now the fourth and the last exercise we have here is a one-legged deadlift combined with the back lunge. What this exercise does is it does challenge your knee and ankle stability a lot, so you have to do a couple of corrective movements here and there, but it also does make your glutes and your core work together all the time. It fires up the hamstrings also and lower back in the deadlift bar and fires up the quads when we go in the back lunge. Standing straight, lift one leg off the ground, both dumbbells in the hands. We slowly push our leg back trying to almost create a straight line through the back. Hands extended push back into standing position using your lower back and hamstring muscles. Then set your foot back for a back lunge and switch legs. Make sure you keep a neutral spine, indulge and activate your core. Push through your legs and try to maintain your balance without shifting the hips left and right. Keep full feet on the ground and push through your heels. This should fire up your lower back, hamstrings and quadriceps muscles. So after you do 15 reps of each exercise, you rest for 40 seconds and you go on to the next one until you finish one full cycle. We do this, we repeat until we finish three cycles. If it didn't challenge you, you can make up more like five or seven cycles. You can pick up dumbbells that weight more next time or try to do it a little bit slower. This workout is great for gaining functional strength, for improving wound balance and stability, as it does challenge us to make this couple uh, corrective movements from right to the left. It does challenge and shake out the knees and ankles. Uh, it also pushes uh, hard on the core, the glutes, the deltoid, basically includes a lot of muscles in the body at the same time, resulting in burning calories, gaining strength, and uh, also building muscle. Thanks for watching, that was it for this video. In case you're interested about functional fitness, strength and mobility, you can go and check out my webpage at vitalsend.com. have written a couple of articles on it and working on more of it to come. Subscribing to this channel is a good way to warm up your fingers and also don't forget to do some hip mobility too. Bye.